this thing on. Word. Crap. I almost choked on peanut butter. Does that look good? Can't even tell. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Back with a no- oh, You didn't do the clap. You gotta do the clap. Come on, man. Come on, man. Not like the STD, the clap. Like, the, just, the, you know, you always clap before you start a video, right? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back with another one for you. And uh, first off, let's start here. It's It's been a while. And honestly, there are no excuses today. I've already made that video twice before. The- <gasps> Uploading like bi-weekly or whatever. No, 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 no. There are no more promises like that because uh, very, it's very clear I cannot keep them, so I won't even try. But I am back because I, I, I did feel compelled to make a video today. I don't know. I just I, I just got that itch, felt it on the skin. I was like, dang, right? You haven't made a video in a long time, and I just felt compelled to do so. I felt the timing was right. It's been nearly a year. The last video I put out was I think in May of 2020 like three months into the pandemic, and then I just disappeared. What are you gonna do? Sue me. You know what's funny? It was actually a year ago this past weekend that uh, that the world went to hell in a handbasket in 2020. I remember this vividly because the last video I put out prior to the world going to hell in a handbasket was that, uh, that Palm Springs vlog. You all know, remember that one? That was a fun weekend. Didn't know that literally five days after that, that Thursday, I believe it was, uh, the uh, the former president gets on on the horn and says, "Yeah, this is this is going to be really really bad." Everybody started freaking out. No toilet paper on the shelves at Costco. Long lines, masks. That's when I was like wearing a scarf around my face before I realized, like, okay, I actually need to get a clinically proven and and good mask to protect myself and everything. Weird times for sure. Very very weird times. Think about that though. One year. It's been one year since the pandemic of officially started, and think about all of the things that have changed between now and last March. I mean, honestly, this this entire past year has felt like we never left March of 2020. Even even with all that we've been through, really, it never felt like it. It, it feels like March 366th, if I'm being completely honest. And now here we are. You know, we we are actually able now, a year later, to to see the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel of this thing. Maybe, don't know, but uh, there's some exciting developments happening on that front. You know, we have, a, we have a working vaccine now. That's pretty cool. Still haven't gotten mine, but for those of you who have, thank you. Literally like a month ago, I was in the back of an Uber on the way to LAX. Yeah, I know flying during the pandemic, probably not smart, but teach their own. And my Uber driver was, uh, was a big anti-vaxxer. So you can imagine how uncomfortable that conversation was when I said, oh yeah, you know, when, when it's my turn and my age group, I, I can't wait to get vaccinated and, and help us on the path back to, uh, to normalcy. And my Uber driver, who talked exactly like this, said, and I quote, no, sir, I, I mean, honestly, like, I, see, I don't think I'm gonna get the vaccine because cause I gotta be honest with you, I'm real scared of needles. Well, ma'am, with all due respect, I'm a scared of needles as well, but I still very much plan on getting the vaccine because, you know, it's, uh, it's gonna save a lot of lives, and I think you should think about it too. And she continued uh, on with, well, I'm just, just afraid of needles. Again, to each their own. Just like she doesn't want to get vaccinated, and I probably shouldn't have been flying during the pandemic. So, a lot of mistakes going on there. Anyway, uh, back back to the topic at hand. It is exciting because we we finally are starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe uh, maybe going back to normal here in the coming months. And as I sit here and I think about that, that uh, that notion of going back to normal is is honestly kind of terrifying. It's 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 really. It stresses me out. Like, I've been watching a lot of my favorite TV shows and old sports highlights recently, and, and you'll see, like, all the extras, and there's just mass crowds. And then I remember seeing Tiger Woods, the old highlight of him winning the Masters in 2019. That was just on my TV a couple of days ago. And, uh, you know, you see the crowd at Augusta National, ah, everybody's high-fiving and everything, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm anxious. I don't like this. There's a lot of people, no masks. But that's... 
that's how things used to be. So here's the thing. When this, when this all started, people actually wondered, will the world ever truly go back to normal? Like really the way it was before? And, and honestly, I don't think it will. Not entirely, at least. I mean, really think about that. Going out to your favorite bar, to your favorite comedy club, to your favorite movie theater, things of that nature, your favorite stadium. I mean, going to watch your favorite sports team play and, and, and going to live events like concerts and in stadiums, packed arenas around the world. Just think about that. No one's done that in a really, really long time. Something that used to be so normal, something we just did all the time, like that was every weekend. Nobody's done that in a year. And imagine when all of us, like the entire Earth's population, is just straight up allowed to do that again. I gotta tell you, it's, that's gonna be weird as hell. Weird as hell. And as if, you know, just going and being around all those people isn't weird enough, think about not wearing a mask around all those people. And then think about not doing like a fist bump, which I've gotten really good at. I give a mean fist bump or a good a little elbow tap, you know, that's that's another thing people have been doing this past year. But instead it's like hugging your friends or dapping them up, you know? Whatever it is you do that used to be a more intimate greeting, you're gonna be doing that too. Imagine going back to that. Even that concept is 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 crazy to me. I don't know, it just is. Also, call me crazy, but I uh <laughs> I'm actually, I might genuinely kind of miss wearing a mask in certain places. For the socially anxious out there, and I'm not particularly one of those people, it can actually be kind of nice when you're in the grocery store and your face is covered and it's just like, nah, none of these people are looking at me, nobody cares, I don't have to smile at anybody who walks past me, it's just I'm gonna get in here, I'm, I'm looking for my groceries and then I get out. I mean, honestly, it's, it's kind of nice. It, keep, it keeps all this ambiguous. Nobody really messes with anybody who's wearing a mask. And when everybody's wearing a mask, then nobody messes with anybody else. And that's, that's kind of cool. So the people with social anxiety are going to be even more anxious when they leave their house without a mask. But I think there is one universal constant here that, I, that really, really encapsulates uh, what I'm trying to say here. And that is adjusting back to the way things were before is going to be just as hard, if not harder, than adjusting to the new normal of 2020. I mean, obviously, there's no definitive timeline on that, but with, with the vaccines rolling out, Moderna and Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson, all that stuff, I mean, I, I think it's probably here pretty soon that that's gonna be happening. I mean, <laughs> look at the homies down in Texas. Their governor said, screw all that. Not everybody's vaccinated. Everything's back open. Woo! I love Texas, man, but I think y'all probably jumped the gun on that one. I, and hey, I get it. I get it. You guys were just devastated by a huge snowstorm, and, and there were a lot of fatalities there, and it's very, very sad. So I, I don't know if this is an effort to, to kind of give people a little bit more freedom. I, I don't know. But uh, I... <laughs> might be a little bit premature. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not a politician, but I just think maybe maybe pump the brakes just a little bit. But back to my last point real quick. I just want to revisit this concerts, right? Concerts and live events. Do not be surprised if when you see me at the Hollywood Bowl like maybe in October or something and and Dave Chappelle is is playing there like he was supposed to last May and I get to be there to see it. Don't be surprised when I'm bawling my eyes out in the crowd and I just look like a complete idiot. And I'm sure that there's going to be thousands of other people doing the exact same thing. And it literally will be because I will be so freaking beside myself, so elated to be there, that it will just, I will be overcome with emotion. I mean, honestly, screw it. At this point, I don't care if it's Dave Chappelle or, or Cher up there singing, Do you believe in love and love? I will be there in the front row, screaming my head off. I promise you that. And then there's the thought of going just, just to see a movie on a Friday night and actually having the theater experience as opposed to having to watch a movie on HBO Max. You know, nobody wants to watch the Justice League director's cut, the Zack Snyder cut, in their living room. No, it's like if Jared Leto is going to be recast into this movie, then I'm trying to see that with like Dolby Digital surround sound, like big production value there. We're not, we're not watching that on my on my 32 inch Samsung. We're just not doing it. And then and then there's just my favorite, the bar. Just going to a 
a sports bar and being able to sit to the fella next to you and not have plexiglass between the two of you and you can actually get to know the person sitting next to you and make connections and have real interactions with people that are not separated by plexiglass or being able to to go to a bar and get a table or a restaurant and get a table and to be able to stand up and get up from that table without the manager or one of the waiters or waitresses saying hey sit down you're not allowed to move around here obviously one of the worst parts about the entire pandemic for everybody is just the the inability to to, to make new connections and you i think you feel very limited as a result of the way that things have been and so I, I want to be able to go meet new people. I want to be able to take a sip of my, of my friend's drink because I, I'm like, hey, I might want to order that. And then I, I don't have to feel guilty about taking a sip because, you know, it, it might be kind of normal to do that again. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be a very weird readjustment to, to what is perceived as normal. Uh, and, and it's going to take a long time. But honestly, it's... I'm, I'm ready for it, and I think everybody else is too. As to where uh, I've been over the last, uh, I don't know, 10 months or so, basically, uh, I, I haven't made videos because I there's been nothing for me to make videos about, straight up. I just, I, I would rather not make videos just to make them, and I figured that out after I tried the upload bi-weekly thing. And I, I really hated it. I hated the stuff I made. It wasn't good. It was literally just a post and I just, not a, not a huge fan. So in the meantime, I've been putting a lot of my creative energy into a podcast I do called Sons of Saturday. A lot of you who know me know what that is. And I've been making content for that and recording episodes and being very consistent on that end, which I've very much enjoyed. It's been a great outlet during this time for me to be creative with two of my really good friends, Billy Ray and Pat. Uh, and so, you know, definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Here's to hoping that in the fall of 2021 or maybe early 2022, we can all get together at some sweaty dive bar in the middle of nowhere that reeks of stale cigarettes and, and just, there's just, I don't know, a disgusting bathroom and everybody's in there having a great time and I'm on stage singing karaoke with my shirt off, getting germs all over the microphone. It'd be great. It would be absolutely great. And I can't wait to see y'all there. Honestly, that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to, uh, to make a little kind of where I'm at video. Uh, I know I've made like four of these, but I'm sure this won't be the last either. So uh, take care and peace, y'all. We'll see you around.